Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're having a look at how to make this credit card. Um, the idea of this lesson is that you can learn how to emboss. You can see we've got that raised text there and we've got a decal applied to a face. So we're just going to go through the steps of that. Uh, fast forward through the boring bits if you want. So long as at the end of this uh, tutorial you know how to do the basics of adding a decal and embossing text. Hope you enjoy the video, follow along. So to start this one I'm just going to create a sketch on this top plane here and do a rectangle, two point rectangle. Um, that is 54 by 85.6. These are just measurements I've got online. Then at this point we can either put in our fillets now or add them later. I'm going to add them now so I'll click fill it there and then we'll just click on each corner you can see it's selecting each corner and the fillets are 3.4 so they're 3.4 millimeters we can now finish sketch and extrude so the thickness of the card is 0 0.76 millimeters so I'm just going to turn the sketch off you can see there we got what looks like a credit card shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a decal um, from our computer. And we're going to select a face. So now I'm just going to size it out and align it to where I want. A little bit bigger. Okay, I'm happy with that. But now, if we look at the back, it's showing through there. So you can have that, but you get a bit of a distorted image on the back. So over here on the right hand side at the bottom, chain faces. If I deselect that, it's now only going to show it on the front. So the back of the card is still blank and that's what I want. I don't want the distorted image on the back. Okay, so there's the front of our credit card. So now what we're going to do is we need to create a new sketch on this face for our text. So we go create, I'm sorry we don't go create, we go create sketch, select the face. Now we're going to create and say text. We're just going to make this text box roughly in the location we want so I'm just gonna make a random number um, I don't know if that's too many digits so then as you edit it here, it will reflect, put in a space, there will be a space. Um, but this is a little bit long, so I'm happy with the text and the size. I want to move this up a bit. So let's just click OK here. We're going to click on this text box and move it around. But as you can see, as we move it, it's kind of getting out of line. So what I want to do is I want to put a horizontal constraint, so that's over there, I'll put it on this bar and that'll be, should be right. Um, so we put a horizontal constraint on that. Now we can just move it down a little bit, doing some funny things here. Get it into the position we want. And there we've got our text. So I'm going to finish this now. Um, and you can see it's gone away because I've turned off sketches. Yeah, so I'll turn that back on. And we're going to go create and use the emboss tool. We could use the extrude tool and extrude it up, but there is a feature for emboss. So I will go emboss. I'll select the sketch profile as the, the letters we just put in, or the numbers, sorry. And the face will be that face. 
Now we can choose, do we want it embossed or debossed? So I'm going to go emboss and we'll go 0, I don't know, 3 millimeters. So we should get a slight, let's go and the card's only 0 0.5 or 0 0.7 thick, so and there we can see we've got it embossed on there, it's erased. So that's how you emboss text, just for um, completeness sake. I'm just going to draw a little chip on there and then we'll put a little bar on the back. So that is how you emboss text. Um, we're going to draw a chip over here. So I can go create another sketch on this plane. Um, I'll just extrude these um, just so that there's a solid body to uh, add a color to. I'm just doing them separately so that they're separate bodies, the new body. So I'll do that with each one. It's a bit of a pain, but. I want to show the, the texture or the, the separate components, the lines, without having to draw in a whole bunch of lines. So I'll also fast forward through this bit for you. Now we can apply uh, an appearance to this. So we'll go appearance, and I want it to be gold, so we can. I'm just going to type in here gold, see what comes up. So we've got a polished gold finish. Let's download that. I'm going to download it, see if I can drop it on. There we go. I'm just going to drop it on each piece. Yeah, it wants to drop it on the whole, the whole card. There we go. So now we've got that on all of them. Let's see what happens when I turn off the... Hey, that looks good. Um, and then on the back side, uh, it's kept that gold color for the back. I actually quite like that. So then on the back, we'll create a new sketch. We're just going to have our rectangle across there. So I don't know how wide that mag tape is. So it's obviously the whole width, make it 14. Okay, so we've got that closed profile there. And just so that I can extrude this, or so I can add a, an appearance to it, I'm just going to extrude it to like 0, 0, 0.01, because in reality it's um, basically flush, but I just need it to be a separate part so I can add an appearance to it. Let's put in black. There we go. Or do I want shot something shiny? Glossy black. Let's add it to that. Let's turn off sketches again. And there we've got ourselves a credit card. That's quite cool. Got our logo on it, got the little mag tape on the back. So that's just a bit of an introduction on how to do emboss and load decals onto your work. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. It just helps me to get uh, my video out to more people. If there's anything you need help with, uh, please uh, send me a message. Um, my email address is in the description. It's fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Until next time, bye.